And now we have FM sound, by the way. We have FM sound, guys. Uh, how's the audio level? Sounds a little loud here on my end. Should I uh, lower it a bit? The game volume, that is. Yeah, yeah, the problem is most of the games, they kind of go up and down the um, volume levels. Balance is fine now, okay. I guess I'm just gonna reduce the level just a bit on my end, like that. That should do the trick. Alright, without further ado, let's just get going. That's what you are here for, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, if... If, if you guys think I need to uh, reduce the volume, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it a bit. Uh, just that much. If you have trouble hearing, just tell me. Alrighty. Alrighty. So here we are again with the, uh, with the Lord of the Sword. Um... I am... Um, it's been two weeks since I last played this game. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what, 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 it, what it was that I needed to do here. Um, this game is, is kind of like a... Um, uh, reminding exercise. Memori I mean, memorization exercise. Um, there's like a uh, very set uh, route that you need to take in this game. Even though the game kind of feels like open worldish, but it's it really isn't. Oh uh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Hey Malo, glad you don't like this game. What's the problem, man? Or the audio? I think this game is fine. Oh, yeah, right. Um, well, this is uh, this is Lord of the Sword. <laughs> yeah, well, at least uh, there's something new to learn here for you, right? If nothing else. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say the closest equivalent if you um, are more familiar with. Nintendo games, which I suppose you might be. Um, this is like maybe it's Zelda, Zelda 2. Uh, I mean, not really, but I guess that's the closest equivalent I can think of. I'm stuck in the new Dragon Storm. Oh, you're playing uh, Wonder Boy. Cool. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't touched the remake. Um, I kind of was supposed to when it came out, um, but I suppose I was still like um, I was still playing the the original version at that point in time. So after I uh, after I finished the original, I really didn't feel the uh, <laughs> need to play it again, since the uh, the remake is for all intents and purposes it's it's the exact same game. Oh yeah, but it's, it's a great game. It's a great game. I say I still maybe prefer the... Um, the prequel, if you can say that. So, Wonder Boy Monster Land. Uh, the Dragon's Trap. I know this is kind of an unpopular opinion, but... I, I, I feel... Uh, I feel Mon Monster Land is... Just slightly better. They're both great games. They're both great games. They're all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one thing I need to do here. Um, so... This game kind of requires you to have the uh, manual at ready at all times. 
uh, for reasons I'm gonna show you in a moment. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'd say um, the arcade version is kind of the uh, definitive version of that game. Um, I haven't played the Turbo Graphics version, or I guess that's the uh, PC Engine version to be exact. Um, but yeah, the arcade version is the best one, but the Master System version is, is great as well. Um, so let me show you this this map. Some of you might have seen it already. Um, where are we? Where are we? All right. So this is the map. So in three pages. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the uh, the arcade version. Is the one I uh, I played first. That's the one I started with. That's the. Uh, like the default version, that's the baseline. So, this is the map. This is most of the map, to my knowledge, at this point. Um, yeah, there's like a little bit here as well, like an elder castle. I don't know how to get here, but that's pretty much all. All there is to it. Um, so, the game works so that um, you get hints in the villages, so now they're telling me to go to Ulmo Forest, which I can do. Um, so you, the game is 2D, so you kind of have to interpret the map all the time. Like you, you saw those stair, the, the, those stairs, those steps in the to the left of me. Um, if I go here, so that's kind of like top left. So if, if if I take that route, I will go to Farazan. So you know, it's like northwest. Kinda, even though it's 2D, it's kinda hard to explain, but I guess, I think you get the, get the idea. Oh yeah, yeah, the door breaks, but I, if I recall correctly, that's the way the Master System version works as well. <laughs> it's been so long since I played it. It was one of the first games I played on my challenge. But yeah, you can only, only visit the shops once. Um... So yeah, I need to go to Ulmo first, um, afterwards they will tell me to go back. Uh, I will go back to uh, Amon, all the way to Namo Forest, where, I, where, will, where I'm going to meet my first boss. Uh, go to Krambok, it's the second boss. And here's the thing, after beating the second boss, I'm supposed to get a uh, shortcut from Shagard village to Doro village, like a... Uh, uh, so I, I would not have to walk walk all the way through Amon and everything, but I've only got it to work once. I don't know what to do. Um, I mean, maybe I uh, maybe I'll figure it out, but it's kind of weird. Uh, and I suppose that's that's the uh, farthest I've gotten so far. So uh, yeah, that's the basic gist of it. All right, let's go. Oh, and you get like a, uh, you can get like seven lives in this game. The game regards the lives as continues, to be exact. But, um, they're lives. You can heal uh, every time you uh, visit the village, which is kind of nice. Um, uh, these guys are pain in the ass. But when you're in the wilderness, I haven't found a way to, to heal. It's kind of annoying. I kind of like this FM sound. So last time when I was playing this game, uh, I was playing this on PSG. Mm. I mean, it always depends. Some games uh, sound much better on PSG. 
as opposed to FM, which is kind of funny. Because your gut reaction would be that the FM sound is always the better one, but that's not, that's not always the case. Alright, so let's see, maybe I need to try to go to the castle first, before I can uh, get the shortcut to work. There's some kind of trigger here that I need to... Uh, that I need to pull. There's something I need to make happen before before the shortcut works. I mean, it's it's not the end of the world if I don't get the shortcut, but it would be nice if I don't get the shortcut. It basically means that uh, um, I'm gonna have to walk all the way all the way back, and um, well, it's it's going to take its toll on my health. So. Oh, I see you, man. I see you. Hiding there in the bushes. Oh, and by the way, I haven't... Um, I haven't taken a look at a single piece of walkthrough yet. So this is 100% blind. Still. I like to keep it that way. With this game. I mean... Yeah, this 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 stuff you just need to like, you know. Oh man, uh, memorize and everything, which is. Uh, but hey, what can you do? Uh, okay, let's try it again. Yeah, this is like <laughs> a little dumb. I don't know if you uh, if you saw that, but basically. If you, if, if you see a snake, you can't hit it with your arrows, so the only way to hit it is to uh, hit something else and hope that the arrow ricochets. It's surprisingly easy to die in this game, just like that. And since... Uh, there is no way to get extra lives, to the best of my knowledge. Um, you really have to play conservatively here. There's no time limit to anything, so at least there's that. So you can take your time with this game. You're not in a hurry. You're not in a hurry. It might be that I'm gonna die before I uh, get to the next village, but let's see. Alright. So here's the... Please kill me, put me out of my misery. Trifle guy? Let me just look at him. Doesn't he look like he's suffering and you just want to <sighs> deal the coup de grace? Yada yada yada. Alright, so now we visited this guy. Um, I mean, we could go to the village of Warl first. And I'm not sure what is the exact trigger to get the um, um, oh man. get the shortcut to work. It would be extremely nice to get it working. Oh man, the snakes are the worst. These are the second worst. <laughs> So my estimate is 8 hours here. Yo, Frank! It's not a surprise, man. I, uh, well, maybe a little. I, I kind of stealthily announced it uh, last weekend when I, uh, when I was sick and I was not able to stream. So I kind of promised that I would stream on Thursday, Friday, Sunday, 
I mean Saturday and Sunday, so four days today. Uh, the reason I'm streaming today is because today's Askenson Day, and this is a national holiday here in Finland. Um, so I figured I might just as well play some games for you guys. Tomorrow um, is not gonna be a regular stream. Tomorrow is a normal work day for me, but I'm going to do a short two, three hour stream um, in the evening. Okay, I'm, I'm like the greatest player in the world if I can make it to the end without dying now. I doubt it. I mean, these snakes are like... What the fuck are you supposed to even do? Yeah, okay, I'm dead. Uh, no wonder. Yeah, and Saturday and Sunday will be, uh, you know, the normal stream. Just the uh, old-fashioned, boring Saturday and Sunday morning stuff. Just the way you like it. Just the way you like it, guys. You mean, am I playing this game on the highest difficulty level? Oh, oh, oh you're playing some... You're talking about something else. Alright. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, there's no... Uh, there's no difficulty level in this game. There's only one difficulty with this game, and it's hard. Yeah, I mean... Hmm. Is this game hard? I suppose it's a little challenging. It's not as hard as some other games I've played so far, maybe. I mean, I played much worse. Since this is the sort of game where you just have to memorize stuff and uh, recognize the patterns and all that jazz, it's, it's it is what it is. Kind of your standard fare. Skeletons are kind of annoying as well, because they always jump, and <laughs> it's so easy to get hit. Okay, so if I, uh, if I wanted to do that without losing lives, I would have to get back here. I would have to go, go to the forest, all the way to the forest, and get back here without dying. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible, but man, <laughs> it's kind of unlikely, I'd say. All right, so now I get to heal. The other option would be to um, head to the right on the forest crossroads and visit the village at that point, kind of go heal. But I think there's like one or two more screens between between the crossroads and and the village, and with crossroads I mean the staircase you can see in the uh, in the woods. All right, so now we're going here, and yeah, this game does really re recycle screens. This is the same exit screen that you saw saw me go through in the in the forest. Or before meeting the talking tree? Is it like an end? Something?
Alright, well. <laughs> Go iframes. Go iframes. Oh yeah, these dogs are also like a pain in the ass sometimes. The way they move. FM sound is, I think it's better than the regular PSG sound in this game. Sounds, sounds decent. Sounds decent enough. Right. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh man. I think the village should be uh, on the next screen, the one after this one. One life. Uh, I think we have this. What six lives? I think we have six lives. Huh. All right. Let's take a look at the map before we go. Uh, so yeah, we're at Farazan Village. Um, now, I do know that we just go left and we get to the Namo forest where we can fight the first boss. That's fine. But I'd really, really like to find out the trigger to get the shortcut here. Um, it's kind of funny. You kill, the, you kill the first boss, which is another wood elemental. Um, you get back to the Farazan village. You head north. Uh, you go to this Krambach place, you kill the second boss, uh, you go back to the, um, what's this called, Ithile village? How do you pronounce it? Ithile? 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 Um, and, the, and the guys in the village are telling, alright, so now the shortcut is open, but when you go to the shortcut village, there's nothing here. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's weird, it's weird. So what I would really appreciate, appreciate if someone would be as nice to maybe look at my VOD from from like a week ago. I think it's the first first run or the second run where I um, actually get the shortcut to work. I mean, of course, I can do it myself as well later. But if there's somebody who is already looking at the VODs or something, I would really appreciate it. I'll find it out eventually anyway, but would be a nice thing. Alright, so let's go to the, the woods here. See what's up. See what's up here. These flying fish are among the weirdest enemies. I've ever encountered in a game. I mean, I've seen flying fish in games, but these are like amphibios. They can walk, walk on the ground. Um, yeah, it's it's actually Shagard. It's the Shagard village. Um, this is the this is the manual. 
This is the manual. I would say even if you, even, even if you go to, uh, Sorry about the drop frames, it's also because of my mobile connection. And every time somebody tries to call me, I basically just my my internet connection dies. <laughs> but yep, yeah, that's just the way it works. Sorry about that. But yeah, there's the uh, there's the manual. And uh, as I was about to say, I uh, even if you look at the walkthrough, I would say it's it's okay at this point because that's something I've already done. So it's it's not a spoiler anymore, it's just something I really didn't realize what I was doing. It's probably something very minor, like you have to talk three times to this guy, as opposed to two times. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's right. This this game um, requires you to sometimes talk talk more than once to the villagers, which is really really dumb. Um, because it kind of means that so you go talk to somebody and they say yada yada yada, and you're like, all right, that's fine, but nope. You talk to him again, and he's still saying the same thing, but only like after fourth or fifth attempt. They will go, oh, and by the way, I mean, as long as you keep that in mind, like every time you, you find a new guy, you have to remember to talk to them at least five times in a row, you're good, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, it just occurred to me that, that that should be okay as well, to be honest, because I'm I've, I've already found I've already done it once, so it's not a spoiler anymore. The, the shortcut, shortcut thingy. I mean, even if you look at the VOD, it's like, uh, who are we spoiling here? <laughs> I'm spoiling myself with my own VODs, huh? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Ah, kind of. Stun lock time. Press time. Ah, it's dead. Here we go. There is one thing that worries me about this game. Somebody told me last time that uh, they used to play this game as a kid. I don't remember who it was. Uh, and only like much, much later they realized the farthest they've gotten was like 60 to 70 percent of the game. Um, so I don't know. Looking at the map, it it kind of feels like there's not much to the game, but it might be that. There's something that opens up afterwards. Or like you have to keep backtracking these areas or something.
Oopsie. Oh. Yo, Murray. How's it going, mister? Long time no see. There's no rip of the soundtrack? <laughs> well, here's your chance, man. Here's your chance to just go ahead and rip it. Do it live. Do it live here. So now that we've gotten the... I don't know if this is like a seedling or a piece of tree or what it's supposed to be, but now we have it. Uh, it must be important at some point. Uh, um, yeah. So now the question is, do we go to the Shagar village first? Will that be what triggers it? Or something else? Hmm, let's think here. Let's think here. Hmm. Oh, you found it? Yeah, that's fine, you can... Just describe it to me. Cloudberry Fox, hello and welcome. A Lord of the Sword, a game where you just want to have a nice sword in the nature, but even fishes want to kill you. Yeah. Uh, it's always the fish. It's always the fish. This must be like the fourth or fourth game or something so far. Where the fish are the uh, among the worst enemies. <laughs> Gangcho Robocop was the worst with the uh, laser shooting fish. This is pretty bad as well. So I'm waiting for Hell's Angel to... Yeah. Now I'm waiting, waiting for that. And yeah, it's, it's something that I did already. I just don't remember anymore what it was. It's been a while. It's just been a while. Talk to daughter in Linden. She talks about the shortcut that she could go to mom. Oh! Is that what I did? Alright, let's take a look at the map. I mean, I must have done that because I did get it work. Alright. Okay, so I should... Uh-huh, I see. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that's what I did on my first attempt. I did go to this village of Linden. And then I trekked all the way back here. Okay, well, uh, that's fair. Go to Mount... Oh. Go to Mount Morgoth? Really? Uh, that's... That's weird. That's weird because of the reasons I'm about to show you. I don't remember going to the mountain. But I guess I did. Alright, I mean... That's how it works, because of reasons. 
This is not really a game where you need to question the game logic. It's, it's not gonna make any sense. Whatsoever. No matter how hard you try. No matter how hard you try. Oh, come on! <laughs> also, this is one of the few games that I know where water won't kill you. I mean, look at the stream down, down below. Huh? Doesn't that make you feel like, okay, I definitely should never jump there. I'm, I'm gonna die if I do that. You wanna see what happens? Absolutely nothing. You can even duck here. Ah. A refreshing feeling to my ass. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. So as you as you might might now see, the guy changed his dialogue only after my third discussion with him. Now I don't know if that matters here, but you just have to take that into your habits. You know. Ah, forget about this. Okay, let's try this again. So it's, in this game, basically every screen has a pattern you have to adhere to. Um, sometimes it's quite straightforward and sometimes it's not. For example here, I mean, it's not the end of the world if you take a couple points of damage, of course. If you want to do this optimally, I mean here, see, you go here and you see the bird coming. You can't hit those birds before they turn around. That's that's one of the big or the uh, weird quirks about this game. Uh, so what do you do? You instinctively move a bit forward so you, you wouldn't get hit by it. And then all of a sudden this, this fish jumps out. I mean, you're gonna take a hit if, if you don't, if you're not prepared. So what do you do? Yeah, well, you have to go here first, kill the fish, and then you turn around and kill the bird. Not a big deal, but just something you have to know in advance. That's the thing. So yeah, you have to memorize everything here. I suppose if you're fast enough, but... And reserving your life total is extremely important with this game. Maybe instead of Bowen I'll bring M60. <sighs> Wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt.
This is also funny. This is the way you clear this screen. I mean, I do know it now, but I didn't know it back then. You just keep walking. You don't do anything else. <laughs> he can't, but he can't. He's in a good shape. He's fit for life. So no bending for you. No bending for you. hit you if you're up there man there's no indication if you're actually damaging him but yes you are even though it doesn't really look like that but you are there's a hint in the manual indicating this, but still you, you just have to know, basically. Come on down, come on down. Oh, come on, man. All right. So, he is dead, and... We can go back. Now we can go back. As soon as I visit the next village again, um, I should have upgraded arrows. He's not backseating, uh, he's only describing something that I already did on my previous stream. It was just something that I I don't remember anymore how it works, so this, this game is kind of weird. It, it has these all kinds of triggers all over the place and and you have to do everything in a very certain order and it's kind of easy to miss uh, those triggers like uh so it doesn't work now it worked previously but no there's something you just didn't do in the same way you did it before so I wouldn't say that's backseating I could just go and watch my own bar just backtrack, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, so here's here's what's different. There's no difference. Okay, yeah, well that's fair. There, there's a couple things, but for the most part, thirty hours, man. Whose stream have you been watching? <laughs> Is there somebody else playing this game? You get the best sword before the second best. If you do, you downgrade. Yeah, alright. Hmm. That's kind of funny. Yeah, well, I suppose I wouldn't want that to happen. Gotta be careful.
Ah, of course. Of course. Man, you really must like this game. <laughs> Don't you? I mean, this, this game is decent. It's not the best I've ever played, but... It's, uh, it's decent. So yeah, this guy is saying, yada yada yada, there is also a shortcut from Shagar to Duo. Come visit anytime. But that's not true. That's not true. That's that's what I was asking Hells to do. Check what it was that I needed to do here. So it turns out you have to go to this other village before it opens. Even though there's no mention here about that. It's kind of bullshit. It? Like, don't lie to me, game. If there's stuff you don't want to tell me, then don't tell me, but please don't lie to me. That's not cool. By the way, those those um, sword wielding guys, sword wielding guys, they are called book thieves. They steal books. They're not interested in anything else besides books. Looks like. Um. So let's see here. You know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna go heal before we do anything else. Might be it still won't matter. Then again, this screen isn't that bad. Oh man! Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna try and steal your book. Oh man! Ah, if you're careful. Oh, come on. Okay. Um. You know what? I kind of like to. Kind of would like to check Shagar now. tried it. I've tried it already a couple of times and it contradicts what Hells is saying. And I kinda think that I was I did visit this Lindon village on the run that the short god did work. And now I haven't visited the village. So I don't really see a way it would work here. I don't think it will work. You know? Yeah, we're just gonna skip it and we're gonna keep moving forward. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens here. These are a pain in the ass.
I have to figure out a better way to deal with these guys. Ah, his wolves! I forgot about the fucking wolves. Yep, cave wolves. Those guys. Those guys. They do deal a lot of damage. The problem is you don't see them coming before it's too late. Uh. Oh, come on. Hello, account 5. How are you doing this fine Thursday morning? Snakes that always get me every single time. Uh, so, our quest is to get to the next village without dying. Let's see if we can make that happen. Let's see if we can make it into reality here. a way to kill these snakes without taking a hit. I'm fairly confident. Okay, well, the usual. <laughs> the usual. It's almost becoming a habit for you, man, isn't it? <laughs> I guess there could be worse habits. Ones that I just can't think of at this very moment. <laughs> Mr. Tao. Has Tao destroyed the book? Do so again a reward? Uh, Alright, so where, where are we going now? Do we go to this Linden village? Are there any other options we could, we could take? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Might just as well do it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. If something in this game I would change is probably the um, fact that the guy jumps uh, with pressing up. I hate that in games. I mean. I do understand that there's like two buttons only in the Sega Master System controller. So button two is the sword and button one is the arrow. Cool, that's fine. But why it couldn't be so that button one is jump and I don't know, bow would be like up and two? No? You know, the so called Castlevania control scheme. That's fine. We're fighting Castlevania. So why not here? Other games have done it. Hey Dango! The 
you know, at this point, I would I would take any reward, be it karate or whatever. Just something to make me progress. There is the um, the giant, the hill giant that I lost to be previously. So maybe I just need to go ahead and try to deal with him. Might be. Castle of Barley. Hello, Castle of Barley. Suppose you're talking about the game you you're playing, huh? <laughs> uh, that kind of sucks. But hey, it's um, at least you did learn, so it's it's not all bad. Sharpie man, Sharpie my man, thank you for the host as always. It's a learning experience that game. <laughs> I'll give it that. Right? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it, it doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. It kind of tries to stay true to the original version, and that's how it worked. That's how it worked. It's old school game design where you just have to leave all your expectations at the door. Whenever you start a game like that, just treat every game as a uh, unique experience, which is kind of interesting if you if you think about it. Like at least that's at least it's new. Hey, pancakes! Uh, you wouldn't be the first. To make that comparison slash mistake. <laughs> Thunder gets our under roof. Thunder gets our roof. The guy does look a little bit like Lionel. I kind of like to think he is Lionel. He just didn't get the license. And this sword, it's the Sword of Omens. Sword of Omens, that's what. Okay, we got him. Nice. These Merfolk guys, they almost always, at least, <laughs> get to... get to take one hit, at least one hit. All right, so we're here. So interesting, interesting. The daughter of Mayor Felinden is missing. Yep. Pray, and I will pray for thy success. This is the fourth, fourth time we talk with this guy. Or fifth. Oh, 
Lando. That's me. Uh, all right. Bathroom break type. So let's take a quick look at the map here. I don't think there's any point to going north to Mount Morgus. I don't think so. Just go to Linden. Yeah. one of the uh, screens where you have to be fast if you don't want to get hit. Let's see if we can figure out a good way to beat the boss. If we have a decent strat uh, on the first and second boss, So last time we just died, kind of immediately. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try the YOLO strats here. 
I mean, why not? It's only one screen between these two cities. It's kind of good to know. Alright, so... Pay attention here. So that's one dialogue. Two dialogues. Three dialogues. And four. Only after fourth attempt, this guy will actually... Uh, give me this line. And now I can finally proceed. Dum 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 dum. But whatever. Let's try it again. <laughs> Kinda hard. Oh man, come on! Hey, that's not fair. Starting the screen like that. <laughs> Looks like this is this is indeed the best way. Um, so basically, if you keep holding uh, diagonally, either down and so, let me show you. If I duck, I keep mashing this attack button. This is what happens. Also, if you're standing and you do the same, this is the speed. But if you hold down and forward, you get this speed for reasons unknown. And I just realized that it also works by pressing up and forward. The problem is you first jump, so you have to jump first and then you keep holding forward. But hey, it works. So let's see. My deepest thanks. I have heard the pirates know much of the Lord of Elder Castle in the far land of Yavan. Okay. Is that all? Mm, not necessarily, no. Oh, come on! So, this is a long shot. But I'm gonna try and see what happens here. Oh, man! Let's see what happens here now. Oh, 
Castle Elder. All right. Um, we're gonna take a look at the map real quick here. Uh, so we have crossed this Thalas region, and well, we're here to sing Elder Castle, Castle Elder. Whatever. Um, all right. Let's see what's in here. If Tau can overcome five men in a duel, I'd tell T anything. What? What's that supposed to mean? Okay, I'll try. <laughs> this is... This is something else. Uh, what? I wasn't expecting this, but all right. <laughs> You're quite a mass trap here as well. Hmm. Maybe they won't work here as well. As well as elsewhere. I don't know. Maybe not. Unless it's just okay. Guess this seems to work. Oh what? That's interesting. What's with the slowdown, man? Huh? Oh god. Oh god, this guy, man. This dude is something else. Ah. What an annoying piece of shit! Okay. Killed him. Still need to kill this guy. Oh, He's not taking hits. Uh, I'm not supposed to do this. Huh? What? I can't damage him. I can't damage this guy. Huh? Huh? How do you kill this? Oh, come on! What am I supposed to do here? That's not fair. Oh, dude! Was he even taking hits? Was I even damaging him? I don't think I was. Hmm. Hmm. Do I need another weapon or something here? I'm not sure. Did I damage him? It's kind of hard to see. I suppose the uh, only way you can truly know is if the enemy gets the knockback. And if that happens, then you can kind of say damage it's <laughs> in this game it's it's not all that clear uh, hmm. I mean we could just go for it again but I hmm. what are we supposed to do what are we supposed to do that's stupid. That is stupid. Hmm. I mean, there is a strat. I'm. I'm kind of doubtful that the game would be that dumb that it would require you to have something else here. It wouldn't be impossible. I wouldn't be totally surprised if that was the case. It's just that I'd rather not keep wasting lives here 
at least not that many. Uh, or I don't know, maybe he's taking damage. Maybe I just need to keep at it. Yeah. Or shoot at him? I don't know, let's... It's impossible to know. It's totally impossible to know. And again, all of these other enemies do get knocked back whenever they take damage, so it kind of would make me assume that he was not taking damage. Come on! Like, uh, give me some indication here. What do I need to do? Uh, what an annoying piece of fuck. I'm just gonna die here. I'm just dead. Maybe I do need something else here before this works. I think I'm gonna need something else. I don't think I can uh, I can kill him. I mean, I've tried using the arrows, I've tried using uh, slashes from behind. Um, I've tried ducking, and nothing seems to work. Uh, unless he is taking indeed damage, but the game is just not indicating it by any means. So you know what? We're gonna go back at this point. Just to make sure we're not missing anything. So we lost three lives so far. Um, it's kind of bummer, but also it might be that this will not be the run. <laughs> as long as in a game like this, as as long as you're learning new stuff, you probably won't be able to make it. It's only when when you've memorized everything and you know the game. And it's all a, only a matter of execution. At that point, you can even start dreaming about beating the game. But at this point, mm, I don't think so. I don't think so.
Okay, looks like the correct move indeed is to go back at that point. Just to, you know, refill your health and everything. Tactic kindly, please rest here a while. Uh -huh. Okay, let's do this five times. So two, three, four, and five. All right. Um, Um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and pay this Mount Morgos place a visit now. I do think I just need to keep going. I'm trying to open the path, the shortcut path now. Just because. Alright, we're here. Mount Morgus to the north is called the Mountain of Fire. High weapons would not defeat the beast of my Morgos. Hmm, this is a new piece of dialogue here. We're still gonna do it five times. Alright. We're still gonna go here. Stupid question, does your ear get hurt with those in-ear headphones? You mean these these things? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I'm used to, I'm used to this. Um, I do have other options if I wanted to. Um, so these are the ones that I used to used to use. Um, but the problem is they kind of, I don't know. Yeah, the, the quality, of course, between these and these is like night and day. Um, but what I don't like about wearing headphones is that, um, yeah, these are the uh, your standard fair Apple earphones. Uh, with these, they kind of cup your ear and you get start to sweat. Um, and um, it also kind of blocks the outside sounds. It's, it's not bad in itself, but I suppose the worst part is your own voice starts to sound weird because you're not hearing it the way you're used to. I don't know if it makes any sense, but since I'm... If I'm just listening to music or if I'm playing casually by myself, yeah, I might use those. But if, I, if I'm like streaming, I'm not talking here, I'm going to have to get used to hearing my voice, so it's it's... It's not a huge deal, but yeah, I, I still prefer this because the quality of the audio with Sega Master System games is... <laughs> maybe it's... Let's put it this way, it's not the ghetto blaster of the world. So this is... This is where it's at at the moment. I mean, the... Uh, well, not really. I mean, I just use the... Uh, TVs. Um, the the um, TV's own speakers. Um, I know it's it, it sounds pretty bad, but at this very moment, it's it works. It works okay. Hmm. Open headphones. With velvet or favorite pads. Yeah. 
I guess I do. <laughs> I guess I do. But it's I, I just don't like the feel of the uh, the way they cop your ear. Um, the the uh, optimal solution would be to use like a 5.1 surround system, which I maybe will will do in the future. Um, as for this setup, I guess the best way would be to have like speakers here and use a microphone with a cardioid setting so it would not capture the audio and um, I can hear but it's it's going to be tricky it's going to be tricky <laughs> yeah as soon as I uh, start figuring out how to actually make that man cave for myself 30 seconds still late really? oh that's kind of bad sorry about that I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Must be Twitch. Must be Twitch doing Twitch stuff. Once again. Yo Twitch! Yo Twitch! Yeah. Yeah, I might be. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry about all those technical troubles I'm always experiencing. I mean, I'll try to. <laughs> I'll promise I'll try to improve things in the near future. <laughs> it's it's annoying. It's annoying when stuff like that happens. It should be pretty much issue free by default. Um, so yeah, I'll try to improve things. guy now? Well, we'll see about that. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Maybe the guy, the guy was wrong. Maybe I can kill this guy. Ah, what do you know? He's dead. <laughs> the guy was lying. The guy was fucking lying to me. You can't beat this. Beat this dude with your current equipment. Uh, yeah, I can. <sighs> you can't trust anything this game tells you. You just have to ignore all those tips and just try everything. That was fulfilled. I promised to the wizards. Go see him. To T wizards, him. So plural, singular. Which one is it? I guess he's talking about the wizard. Funnily enough, the guy doesn't have a name. He's just called T wizard. Is he like the only wizard in the whole world? Um. Yeah. You bet your ass I'm gonna go see him. I guess you can do this right after killing the hill giant. So on my potential next run, that's what I'm going to do.
maybe the um, what the, what the villager was saying, maybe it was more like um, you're not prepared to do it just yet. I think I, I think you would need a better equipment. I guess you can try it, but I wouldn't do it. But the way the game is phrasing it makes it sound like it's impossible, which is definitely not the case. Here, Shagger plans Ragoan's restoration. Tau needs weapons. Um, suppose so. Oh, by the way, I don't have the book anymore, so I don't have to worry about those book thieves that much anymore. All right. Um, so we're gonna head back to. Yep. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Is there any reason for me to go to the um, go to the woods again? We're not gonna do that. I don't see any point. I don't see any point. Still can't. I guess that's good, so we can rule out some options here. game is running much more smoothly or going much more smoothly than, than it was 
on my previous attempt. I guess I'm learning new stuff here. But yeah, I mean, it's, this game is still okay. It can be annoying, but it's still okay. Alright, wizard laying on me. Has to destroy the book. Do so and gain a reward. Uh, yes? Destroy this tile reward. Really? It looks like the one, same exact one I already have, but... Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! I just went ahead and pressed start. There's a... <laughs> there's a hidden... There's a hidden map feature. Interesting stuff. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. Well, let's see here. I mean, this is the same map as we have on the manual. So let's take a look at the manual at this point. Again. Do, 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 do. All right, so we're here at Aman. So we've basically been everywhere else but Mount Asgo. Um, previously, there wasn't really anything at Mount Asgo, so it might be that now there is. Also, this Balala Ravine, the Riddens, I. I don't think you can actually get here. Um, so our options, or the new options, are uh, we can go to Shagard and see if the shortcut works. Um, or we can now go to Bowling Castle and see if it's open now. I don't think it is. Or we could go to Mount Asgol. Or we can just go back to the castle and try to do the boss rush, but we don't still have a way to deal with the last guy unless my sword is now super powered and now it just works uh, okay so we're gonna go to mount oscar i think uh, see if there's anything and afterwards we go back to amon um we're gonna pay a visit to the valley castle at that point just to make sure it's not nothing's been triggered and the game just fails to inform me and then we move, go to Shagard and see if the shortcut is open. I, I guess that's our plan. It's something. It's something. Alright. I'm eager to try the sword out. I suppose it's just a little um, more efficient than the one I used to have. Like it deals more damage. That's okay. Nice! I can kill these dudes with one hit. Before it used to take two chops, now it only needs one. That is pretty good. I can't deal with this fish. Hey, I could see the fish. He was waiting for me. Did you guys see it? <laughs> Kinda glitching a bit. Just down there. Village of Harfoot. Alright, Harfoot. Okay. 
It is a fishy setup, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, so there's no indication that the... What was this place called? Mount Asgul. That anything would be there. At this point. But I'm still gonna go ahead and take a look. Perseverance just a little bit longer. Yeah? Okay. I don't know if you mean I would need to keep talking to you, so I'm gonna do this a couple more times. I mean, this 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 would be extremely dumb if this is the case. I just have to keep talking to this guy. Persevere me just a little bit longer. Three more times, then I'm gonna keep going. One. Two. And three. All right. See ya. See ya. This might be a total dead end. Oh, the skeletons also die. With one hit. That is excellent. Oh yeah, these golems. I must forget about these. They're funny. They are funny. I don't think this game even needs this bow feature. It's kind of nice add-on, but... <sighs> I mean... If the game only had sword... The game is named Lord of the Sword, hey, come on! So... It would kind of make more sense if the guy didn't have a bow. Right. Doesn't look like anything's happening here. I suppose I need some kind of item to animate this. Medusa. Good. Or is she a girl? I guess she is a girl. Um, Alright. Um, that stone is turned now. So now we know. Now we do. Well, um, this new sword is a must-have. It is an absolute must-have.
Okay, uh, let's go ahead and see if, if, the, if the shortcut works now. I think it, I think it will. So by default, if you don't have to, you should always just walk under these gargoyles. There's basically no way they can damage you if you do that. Should we go and take a look at the castle? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So we... I don't think anything will come out of it. But I just want to know. I just want to know. Should be on the next screen, also, so <laughs> why not? Yeah, it's here, all right. All right, yeah, it's closed. Uh, no wonder, no wonder. So we're gonna go ahead and check the shortcut. Yes, we are. I'm kind of starting to memorize these screens, <laughs> what enemies are where. That's what you need to do. Zamu sword. Only a person who is pure of heart can use this magical narrow bladed rapier. It's rumored that a brawny young man has once wielded the sword, but he hasn't been seen since. He went off to do battle with the evil creatures of Balginaya. Maybe that's the one I have at the moment. I, I think so. 
The Luna Sword, forged from the sharp silvery rays of the moon, this magical sword is the most powerful in the land. It was once seen in a village some time ago, but today nobody knows where its final resting place is. Um, and we do have the both bravery, so we have one more upgrade. Maybe these are just hidden somewhere? Like, um, up for grabs? If you know where to look? I don't, I don't. <laughs> If you did, just maybe. Oh nice, I can kill these wolves with one hit. That definitely helps. That is a real upgrade. Right there. This sword? Somewhere? Hmm. Maybe it's an Easter eggish kind of thingy? Like the game doesn't hint at hint where it is, but anyway. You just have to know. Wouldn't be surprised. They won't come back, those bats. I'm waiting for them to do that. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> hey, that's not cool. That is not cool. That is not cool! I wonder what happened there. Mayor Flynn knows more details. Uh... Now I'm hundred percent sure I didn't talk to this daughter of Mayor of Linden on the run when I first found out about the shortcut, so that must be a lie. That must be a lie. Screen of four birds. I don't remember that. The future. Four birds. Uh, 
Alright, so we're gonna head to Shagarth now. See what's up. Okay, interesting stuff. Let's see what happens. I can't heal here, but... Nope! It still won't work. It still won't work. The shortcut. Ah, that's dumb. There's some additional trigger here. I mean, normally I would say like, okay, at this point you just have to go and talk to the mayor's daughter, but that's not what I did when it worked. Absolutely not. I don't know, maybe I have to go to the, um, what was it called? Village of um, Ithile one more time now. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Maybe you have to first go to the uh, Lindon village, then you have to go back to Ithile, and only then it will open. <laughs> it's kind of nice that you get all these upgrades with the sword and bow and everything. I mean, it kind of gets this gives this game a RPG feel, even if only a little. Thank you. 
The only thing I'm afraid of is the Murphle. Yep, this guy. Oh! Yeah, I can kill him also. With one hit now? That is nice. That is nice. Oh, yeah, one more screen. Right, right, right. One more screen. <sighs> okay, maybe it works now. Thank the kind of please rest here a while. I guess he's referring to um, of me killing the second boss. Okay, he's not saying anything. Um, yeah, I mean, if the shortcut is not not open, if, if it's still not open at this point, then I don't know what to do. Then there's something else going on. Like, something that you have to do in a very specific order, and if you fail to do so, uh, the door is closed behind you for good. Like, you can't do it anymore. It's not really a huge deal, even if I don't get that shortcut. Because I can always just, you know, walk around. The difference ain't that big. You could even argue it's easier to just walk around it. There's not really anything to grind. Um, there's no money to be gained. There's no um, experience points or anything. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's maybe just a little bit easier for you to plant the stops because you can heal in every village. And the easier the screens are in between, the easier it will be. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fair. That is kind of true. I get to grind my skills. For whatever it's worth. That is fair. I don't think the road is still open. I don't think it is. I think I just botched it. Somehow. I'm okay with that. If that indeed is the case. You know, you know what? I'm, I'm just, I'm giving this up. I hope it won't 
cost me in the future. Like, no, this is something you absolutely have to do. And if you don't, you're screwed. I hope not. Um, okay, I guess the question is, what are we doing, in that case? If, if we're not going to open the shortcut, we're gonna assume uh, it's not necessary, per se. I hope I'm right. So, um, 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 um. do we have even? I mean besides going to the castle with the boss rush in it. Nothing? Not our only option? It might be. I mean we do have the new sword but there's nothing indicating the fact that this new sword would be any better in the regard that, um, like now, now, now you can damage the last, last boss. It still might be the case. By the way, I, I, I have to be careful here now. I don't wanna die here. Be kind of embarrassing. Yeah, we're gonna stop up to Linden anyway, so... Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe... I mean, I haven't seen this dialogue before, so... Might be? Like, the idea of going to the castle is the wrong one at this point. I would be more than happy to find out if that's the case. Yeah, maybe. You never know. like so good.
I did remember the spider. I just thought if you ducked, you... Well, okay. Yep, it doesn't work. Kind of slow progress, but if it's progress, it's progress nonetheless. There's nothing you can do about those those snakes, I'd say. Bloody bloody blah bloody bloody blah. Castle is still closed? Yep, it's closed. It's closed alright. Back and forth, back and forth we go. It's... It's just still blows my mind that I can't for the life of me figure out how to open the shortcut. I... I... I did it accidentally on my first attempt, but now that I'm trying to do it, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I just don't like the feeling when there's a detail in the game that I don't understand, or detail in the game mechanics. I want to know everything. Oh, no, 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 don't get me wrong, I do know where she is, but all I'm saying is, I have a hard time believing the daughter has anything to do with opening the shortcut, because I never even found the daughter on the run where I did open the shortcut, so I suppose the only reason I can't get it open now is that I've done something 
Like either I've done, I've done something on a wrong order and that door is permanently closed. I can't do it anymore, that's fine. Or there is one additional step that I need to take. Or I've done it in the wrong order and, and I would have to do it all over again. There's something else, there's something else. I just can't figure out what it is. And yeah, I'm 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 going to see this daughter now. Okay, let's see what she has to say. Thank thee kindly, please rest here a while. Okay, I'm gonna talk to her five times. See if she says anything new. She won't. Ah, really? Ah. Let's take a look at the map. Or well, actually, let's like let's, let's take a look at the whole manual. If there's anything I missed here, I must find the tree of Mariel, the goblin, and statue of evil. Statue of evil. Maybe that's the Medusa statue. Tree of Mariel might might be the one I already have. Three times, so I have seven more lives. I I remember it was seven lives altogether. Okay. Um. Okay, so we we still need the best sword and the best bow. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we've been everywhere now. We've been everywhere, I just can't find a way to open the path between Shagard and Dwaro. It might be something that we need to do. I don't know. Uh, but as for now, I the only thing I can think of is to go to the castle and try to take on the boss rush. It's just that I don't know how to kill the last guy. Don't. Hmm. <laughs> this pirate dude here looks more like Mossman and He-Man. Castle of Badakars. Oh, it's Paradin. It's not Paladin. It's Paradin. It's different. <laughs> I suppose this is because in the Japanese version it's called Paradin. And the translators got confused. Stone Hammer, Reaper, Dark Suma, Baruga, Baruga. This what? Is this the Goblin? Hmm. 
Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm gonna, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get myself something to eat here. Um. Yep, I'll be right back. <laughs> 